fact that you know Billy were gone, he was coming home, Brian was moving. So we have a couple of Connecticut kids with Billy being the main guy. But you know you got to be careful that you know you try to keep the game in focus. Sometimes that's hard to do. Uh, you know uh, we played a good football team. We played them on the road, and it, it wasn't pretty by any stretch. So I'm not going to even say that. But you know we made enough plays to win. We have plenty of room to get better. Uh, probably some of our errors were forced by the other guys, and I give uh, the Yale team a lot of credit because that they hung in there and they could have folded. And they got big, and they didn't. So uh, that's a scary team with some really good skill kids. So we'll take it. We'll get out of here. We know we got to get better, and hopefully we will. Be a little bit of loss of focus at the end of the game. No, we didn't lose focus. Uh, you know, we tried to rest some of our starters really late. You know, we're trying to, uh, you know, the defense, because of some turnovers, was on the field a lot in the second half. So we were trying to get some of the second line guys some playing time. And as a result, it was a quick touchdown drive. And then I figured, okay, and we're still going to need three scores. So let's get the onside kick. And, you know, then we can just down the ball and get out of there. And then we don't get the onside kick. And then it gets a little bit here. You know, we had control of the game. But the problem is, you know, we made some errors down deep that I'd rather us not make, especially you know, on offense with after the turnover, we turn it right back to him. And, and just some things that, you know, it's a little bit uncharacteristic and we're, we're dealing with some young kids. You know, the quarterbacks are young, so we're not making as good a decision on a consistent basis as we need them to make, and hopefully we'll get better. But I'm sure some of that was caused by Yale. You know, kids make good plays. I'll say. Um, You know, I don't get overly concerned with yardage. I mean, we were playing good, you know, and we, and we consider Yale, you know, to have the best passing quarterback in the league, mm -hmm. and probably have the best set of skill kids, certainly that we face in the Ivy League. You know, we've also faced Villanova that has some pretty good skill kids, but certainly of all the Ivy League teams we've played, <laughs> you know, we thought <laughs> between Witt and receivers, that was the best collection that we've seen top to bottom. So we knew it wasn't going to be easy. And then the question is, you know, can you force him into some mistakes? Can you get ahead of him? You know, at that point, you start giving up some yards just as you're, you're trying to get to the clock. So, you know, to me, though regardless of yardage, the things that always, you know, I get, you know, really the key stat besides the points are the turnovers. And, you know, we had two costly turnovers on offense that really, Tell them, and they had two or three turnovers that really helped us. Mm -hmm. So it kind of went back and forth, but I, I don't get overly caught up with yards. You know, I, I think you know you're trying to play to win the game, and you're not trying to do anything else but bleed the clock. You know, try to get out of there, and force them, not give up big plays, and do all that other stuff. I guess how do you feel about a road <coughs> <laughs> well, it's something we've been doing all year. You know, they're both very talented kids, so they both have an upside. Uh, they're both eligibility-wise freshmen, so obviously they still have lots of room to grow. And I just, we just got to get them to make better decisions on a more consistent level. You know, again, it kind of goes back to the same thing again. You, you never worry about how many yards you make on offense. You know, if we can protect the football, we're going to be in every game. And I don't think we did a great job of protecting the football today, especially in key situations where we can really run the game open, but we got to let it back in. Talk about Luke DeLuca today. He seemed a little more involved in the last couple of games. Is that just the situation? Well, he's a good player. No, he's a good player. And again, as, as we're trying to lead the clock down, and he's one of our best ball players, so we're going to get the ball. You know, so again, a lot of statistics are a byproduct of what the score is, where it is in the game, what you're trying to do with the clock, and everything else. You know, I'm looking up and it's 27-10, and there's five minutes left to go in the game, so I'm not going to call on the pass plays. You know, I know there's nine guys in the box, but I'm going to move the clock down, or I'm going to try to get it down, because the objective is to win the game. You know, that allows them to get the ball back. That allows them to throw the ball down the field. Some that's okay, but you still got to get three scores in five minutes. Hard to do. Now, was that screen 
interception? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, the, kid, the kid is really a good athlete for defensive line. He's, you know, he, he's made some plays already this year that you just shake your head at. So he's an exceptional athlete for a young kid. And I, I'm not sure how many kids can make that play. You know, not only tap the ball up in the air, but then kind of catch it and then run with it. Um, we're just very fortunate. You know, with Coke, you know, the best thing is, you know, he's on the sophomore. Just a terrific player with a huge upside and just a freaking good athlete for that position. Can you explain the last two times you guys played, there are no offensive touchdowns scored today? Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot, you know, I, last year we played in our place, it was a driving range, you know, which I'm sure had something to do with it. Uh, but you're right, it's been like a field goal pass. And then kind of both sides got out of a little bit. But, you know, we're, we're improved on offense from where we were last year at this point. healthy again. Um, and, and I think, yeah, again, you know, kind of now they, they've established with as being a starter, so he's got a lot more snaps under his belt, and he's got a lot more time with those receivers. And, you know, they're dangerous. You know, they're legitimately a dangerous offense. And, you know, it goes back to what I said earlier. He's the best passing quarterback in the league, and they surround him with some pretty good skill kids from about the bottom, the best we've seen so far. So that's, that's a scary combination. That's why We've got to do a better job with the ball and offense because you don't want that offense to have any more time with the ball or any more series than what they should have. How well, far have you confidence in offense since you played that? I know it's hard for the uh, I mean, they're good, you know, especially consider that, you know, they've got really young offensive line. But, you know, the quarterback does a great job of getting the ball out of his hands. Receivers really catch the ball. And they're physical kids, you know. You know, 82 makes some catches that you, know, you just look at and you say, there are not many kids in this league who can do that. So they scary, you know. It's not just what they've done against us; they've done that against pretty much everybody. So I think that's a very, very dangerous thing, especially at home. And else, guys, how big was the black turn? Oh, I thought kicking game was huge. I thought kicking, I thought kicking game was huge. You know, we haven't had one of those in a long time. And it's a combination of our guys doing a really good job with, you know, blocking, and the kid kicked a low liner and caught it on the run. And usually that spells disaster if you've got any kind of a returner. You know, Bradford's pretty dynamic. So I thought that was a huge play. Huge play. Your, your home team is the able to the ball game last I heard that the, the, the streak is snapped. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, maybe the stars are lining up, you know? Yeah, I heard. All right, thanks, guys. All right.